I will now show you guys how to do a remote SSH connection using an SSH key. This will eliminate the need for you to keep having to use Duo Push every time you need to log in, which will tend to be really tedious and annoying over time. So, first step, you want to go to a terminal. It can be in VS Code or just on your computer. And you want to type in the command SSH slash keygen, all one word. And then it should output this, generating public private RSA key pair. And then it wants to save it in this file, which should be fine for everyone unless you don't want it there. So press enter. And then you would enter a passphrase here. I'd recommend this just uh, for security reasons, but since I'll be deleting this, I'm just gonna press enter, enter. And then there you are, you are generated a key pair. So it gets saved in here and you want to go to where the public key is. So I'm gonna control enter to open it. And this is the public key right here. So you're gonna to want to copy all of this and then you want to connect to the server. So this is the, shown in the last video how to do it and you're gonna to have to do it without the SSH key. So it's gonna ask you for a password and you're going to have to use your four digits followed by push and use Duo Mobile. I already have set up here, so just go to that. And then once you're in, you're going to want to make a new folder called .ssh. And this is here because I generated some keys on the server, but for you, you're going to want to do that. And then in here, you create a new folder called authorized underscore keys. And then you paste it there, bam. So save that, and then this is on your server. So now, here's an example of it working. You go back, this is not SSH connected, so you're gonna go here, connect to host, bam. And then in the top, as you can see, oh, yeah, sorry, since I didn't have a passphrase, it does not even ask for a password, I am just connected. And as you can see, I'm easy comp too. There you go.